Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now, I know that is something you're not hearing very often nowadays. Don't worry. Big things planned for the month of December. Going to be all revealed come, you know, five days away. And uh, also a big couple of weeks coming up, obviously, with the end of the Europa League uh, flying in, uh, as we're going to discuss today. And the League Cup final will be up as well, so keep your eyes out on the channel. Some interesting content to come, hopefully wrap up 2019 with a little bit more than uh, what you're seeing as of the past few weeks, but today we're here to do a match preview for the final home game and the penultimate game of the Europa League group stage as Celtic take on Ren at Celtic Park on Thursday night. The match preview two days beforehand is what we usually do, so we're going to jump right into it just now. And Celtic, the last time we sat down to do this, uh, do a match preview, I was ready to leave for Rome. Literally was sitting in this chair with the, the thought of leaving for Rome a few hours later and I went over there and seen one of the greatest European away results that our club is ever going to see. Um, a fantastic game, a 90th minute winner. Did I expect it? No, I didn't. And on Thursday night, we have the chance to extend which, what has been one of the most memorable Europa League slash UEFA Cup group stage runs that we've ever seen. And we have the chance to remain unbeaten in that group stage run. This group stage has went much better than anyone could have expected, considering the quality that we were put up against. And a team that knocked us out of the Champions League qualifiers at the start of the season, one of the top teams in Italy and one of the top teams in France. It wasn't going to be an easy task. I still firmly believe that we would head through that group. But now we have the chance to, you know, go and get a great tally of points. After this, we've only got one more game. That's a way to close. But we're through. We are into the last 32 of the Europa League, pretty much. Um, there is no denying that, unless something drastically went wrong. But I, I think it's near impossible. Um, and a point or a, would, would do us, basically, on Thursday night. And I expect us to get more than a point as we take on Ren. Now, obviously, we faced Ren this season. We went over to France in the first game of the group stage, where we took, off, uh, took a point away from them. In a game where we were the better team, I thought. We were more deserving. We looked as though we should have won the game. Um, we had a Stonewall penalty denied. We were really unlucky that night to go away from home in Europe once again and get another win. Just things didn't quite go our way when it came to the, the final third. And do you know what? That night I was happy to take a point because if you offered me it beforehand, I would have uh, bit the hand off for it. I would have took a point away from home in Europe considering how bad our record has been over the past few years. Um, but tonight, or sorry, on Thursday night, we are facing uh, a Ren side in a completely different situation from the point that we faced them uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, they have slipped off big time. They are now 12th in the table. They are struggling in this group. They have you know, lost their last game to Cluj. They haven't been impressive at all. Whereas when we played them the first time, they were just coming off the back of beating PSG. Um, they were top of the league at the time, or at least in second, I think. Yes, it was very early days in the season, but it was a very different close side. Right now, they are struggling big time, and Celtic should be disposing of them so easily on Thursday. And this is the first time I think I'm allowed to sit down and say that when it comes to a Europa League game. Because of how well we have played in this group. We have just come off the back of back-to-back -back wins against Lazio. We have uh, beaten Cluj at home. We have drawn with Ren away. We could end this group with close to maximum points if we get this win on Thursday night. And then Cluj is a completely different matter. We'll come on to that one day uh, when, it, when the time comes round. I really do expect Celtic to go out here and play as relentlessly as possible and stick a good couple of goals by then. Because there is... You know, Ren's group stage is, is over. They've, you know, they've got very little to play for. Their confidence is low. Whereas we have scored, I think, something like 28 goals in our last, what, however many games. I remember seeing the statistic yesterday of our aggregate score. It's incredible. We're off the back of beating Livingston 4-0. Ren are off the back of losing their last game 2-1. Now, if you are talking to me about who the more hungry and motivated team is going to be at Celtic Park, then, um, you know, I would be very shocked if it's not us. Uh, and we should be going out there and slotting a good few past them, I think. Uh, and really showing our intentions for the rest of this campaign beyond Christmas. I think that is one of the main messages that I would like to see from the team. Now, what we have done so well at home in this group stage, and, and even away from home, we've just set up nicely. 
you know, we've soaked up pressure, but defensively, we've not made mistakes. We've not done what we've we done a lot in the Champions League group stages under Rodgers. Uh, and you know what? D domestically, we have been so relentless, so, so bloodthirsty. Some of the most attacking football that uh, I've seen at Celtic for quite a while now. Neil Lennon is going out to destroy teams. He's sending our 11 out in the park to absolutely maul folk. And that is what he should be doing on Thursday night. Exactly that. We are a better team than Ren. We have a better starting 11 than Ren. We should be going out there to maul them just like we would anybody else that comes to Celtic Park on a weekly basis in the Scottish Premiership. That is what I want to see. I don't want to see, uh, you know, oh, we're through, let's just play it safe. Keep going with the same approach that we've took to every other team. Give them the fear. Now, there has been points, uh, when we look back to the last uh, Celtic Park game in the Europa League, when we played Lazio, there was that kind of period of game after Lazio took the lead up until we equalised. We were very dry, we looked a bit unsure, we kept losing the ball. But the way we played after we scored that equaliser up until we scored the winner was absolutely tremendous. And we need to replicate that sort of situation the whole 90 minutes through. And as I said show the message, you know, show that we're not just going to lie down in the Europa League past this stage, show that we're putting in a serious threat, give a, give the team that we're going to draw in the last 32 the fear. One thing I don't want to see us fuck up is getting this top spot in the group because it is so valuable getting the top spot in the Europa League, you could save yourself a very difficult feat, um, and a very difficult task if we get that first place in the group. So, putting out our strongest team on Thursday night, I expect to see the same blood first in Neil Lennon side going to score three or four goals because there's no reason why we can't. And I don't want to come off, uh, come across as, as overconfident, as bashful, if you like, or disrespectful to Ren. All due respect to them, they won the French Cup last season. They're still a solid side. But the situation they're in versus the situation we're in, we should be going for the kill here. And that is the way I want to see us play on Thursday night. Um, the performance uh, against Livingston, you know, we had the goals, just carry it on. There was points that game where I did feel we were a bit slow, but that was us just coming back from an international break. I do believe that we can um, we can really get stuck into them. Now, a completely different topic that is that, that can be used in a completely different video, obviously the, the, the whole situation with the, 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 the standing section being closed and the Green Brigade being banned, it will take a big uh, effect on the atmosphere. Completely different situation. If you wanted to see a video on it, I happily will make a video on it. Um, but I, I feel like I'll, I, I like to keep my kind of politics and stuff off of the channel. Um, but, but, but they will be gone. So it's up to us Celtic fans. Create that European atmosphere. Um, and, and scare their end team. Because it does take a big part of the game. And you can see that in players when the atmosphere is at its best at Celtic Park. As for the starting 11... Well, 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 there's really, there's look, there's nothing, what, same on Ren's side, there's no big noticeable injuries for Ren, I believe they have one player out, uh, no one of, of great magnitude, Celtic, we have our full team available pretty much, uh, as far as uh, I'm aware, unless something happens over the next two days, touch wood, it doesn't, um, so Forster, uh, this is the team it has to be for me, Forster, El Ahmed, uh, Christopher Ayer, Christopher Julien, um, at the left back position, Will Ball and Bolling, I think he's back to fitness, but I, I wouldn't be playing him. Honestly, I'd be playing Johnny Hayes again. I'd be putting Johnny Hayes at the left back. I'd have James Forrest over on the right, El Yunusi on the left, McGregor Brown and Christie making up the middle three. And up front is the man who is, is going to have to score against a team from his own country. It's odd, son, Edward. Um, I mean, the man is just scoring for fun. And uh, he's got to be the first name in the sheet, always, probably apart from, from Bruni. But still, that's a solid team. That is our best team. And uh, I, I honestly believe playing its best, we could do a lot of damage to this Ren side on Thursday night. Um, there's not too much else to pick up on. I, I, we just want to finish the group off in style. We should be going. You know, we could finish this this group two points short, potentially two points short of maximum points. And if you said to me that would be the end result of this group stage after the draw was made, I wouldn't have laughed. But I would have been severely doubting you. And the way we have handled this group stage is absolutely tremendous. Neil Lennon, very, 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 very proud. He should be very proud of what the lads have accomplished. We have done so well, exceeded so many expectations. And it's great for us. It's great to shut people up. Um, because we're proving we can be a good team in the European stage. And by getting through to this last 32, by doing well on Thursday night, it's, it's just going to keep adding to how positive the atmosphere is at the club at the moment. And we need the momentum. We really do. Um, you know, we've got big games coming up. 
uh, a tough run coming up as well in December. A lot of games. We need that momentum. Let's carry it on. Uh, the goal scorers and the score. That is what you're wanting. I'm going to go for a 3-1 Celtic win at Parkhead on Thursday night. Goals coming from Edward Forrest and Mohamed El Yunusi, the forward three. I think we'll all bag a goal if you have enjoyed. I did, that's another thing. I predicted like every score nearly right, apart from Lazio away. I said 1-0 and I was nearly right until Encham scored. Not complaining though. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe. It is much appreciated. If you do, let me know your opinions to my opinions in the comments below. And I, I'll see you all next time.